Have you ever wondered what series of events led to the devastation of the First World War? Let's take a step back to the early 20th century, to a Europe knotted in a complex web of alliances and tensions. The major powers of the continent had been circling each other warily for decades, bound by treaties and agreements that were as fragile as they were intricate. The continent was like a pressure cooker, heated by industrialization, nationalism, and militarism, waiting for a spark to set off an explosion. The spark came on a summer day in 1914, in the form of a bullet fired by a young Bosnian Serb named Gavrilo Princip. His target, Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria, heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire. This assassination, a result of Serbian nationalist fervor, would serve as the catalyst for a conflict that would engulf the world. Following the assassination, Europe descended into the July crisis. This was a month of diplomatic maneuvering, ultimatums and mobilizations, as countries scrambled to protect their interests and honor their alliances. The crisis reached its climax when Austria-Hungary, backed by Germany, declared war on Serbia, who was allied with Russia. The dominoes began to fall. Russia mobilized its army in defense of Serbia, which prompted Germany to declare war on Russia. France, bound by an alliance with Russia, was dragged into the conflict. Germany then declared war on Belgium, a neutral country, to outflank the French army. This blatant violation of Belgian neutrality led Britain to declare war on Germany. Europe was now in the throes of a full-scale war, a war that was to be unlike any other. Countries beyond Europe, from the far reaches of the British Empire to the United States would soon be drawn into the conflict, making it a truly global war. And with that, the stage was set for one of the most destructive conflicts in human history. Imagine, if you will, a world suddenly plunged into a global conflict. As the world found itself embroiled in the First World War, major battles began to shape the course of this global conflict. The Battle of the Marne was one such turning point. German forces, in an attempt to swiftly knock France out of the war, marched towards Paris. However, the Allied forces, in a remarkable counteroffensive, halted the German advance. This crucial battle not only saved Paris but also marked the failure of Germany's Schlieffen plan. The war raged on and the Battle of the Somme unfolded. This battle is remembered not for its strategic importance but for its staggering human cost. Over one million men were wounded or killed, making it one of the bloodiest battles in human history. Then came the Battle of Verdun, the longest battle of the war. Lasting over 300 days, it was a testament to human endurance and the destructive power of modern warfare. The French and the Germans, locked in a deadly stalemate, suffered heavy casualties. The war wasn't just about the battles though. It was also the birthplace of many military innovations. Trench warfare became the norm, with miles upon miles of trenches dug to protect soldiers from enemy fire. And it wasn't just the soldiers who were affected. The trenches fundamentally changed the nature of warfare, turning it into a war of attrition, a waiting game where the side with the most resources often prevailed. The war also saw the introduction of tanks and poison gas, new weapons that brought new horrors. Tanks, with their ability to cross trenches and barbed wire, brought mobility back to the battlefields. Poison gas, on the other hand, was a silent killer. It could clear trenches in minutes, leaving soldiers gasping for breath. The human cost of the war was staggering. Millions of lives were lost, and millions more were forever changed. The world had never seen such devastation, such loss of human life, in such a short span of time. As the war raged on, the world watched in horror as the death toll rose. In 1917 the tide of war began to turn with the entry of a new player, the United States. Until this point the US had maintained a position of neutrality, watching from the sidelines as Europe tore itself apart. However, two key events would irrevocably alter this stance. The first was the sinking of the Lusitania, a British ocean liner by a German submarine in 1915. This event which claimed the lives of more than a thousand passengers, including 128 Americans, sparked outrage across the US. The second pivotal event was the interception of the Zimmermann telegram in 1917. Sent by Germany, this proposed alliance with Mexico, promising to help recover lost territories in Texas, New Mexico and Arizona if the US entered the war. This revelation was the final straw. In April 1917, President Woodrow Wilson asked Congress to declare war against Germany. With their entry, the U.S. tipped the balance of power, providing the Allies with fresh troops and significant financial resources. Their involvement marked a turning point, 
bolstering the flagging morale of the Allies and paving the way for eventual victory. However, this victory was not without its cost. Countless lives were lost, and the US itself was forever changed, emerging from the war as a global superpower. With the United States' entry into the war the end was in sight but the cost was far from over. Finally in 1918 the guns fell silent. A collective sigh of relief echoed around the world as the armistice was signed on that fateful 11th day of the 11th month. The war to end all wars had finally come to a close, marking the end of a bloody chapter in human history. The armistice, however, was just a ceasefire, a temporary suspension of hostilities. The task of building a lasting peace fell to the Paris Peace Conference, a gathering of the world's top diplomats and statesmen. The spotlight fell on the Palace of Versailles, where delegates from over 30 nations convened to decide the fate of the world. The centerpiece of the conference was the signing of the Treaty of Versailles, a document aimed at preventing future wars. But the treaty was a contentious document, as it imposed heavy penalties on Germany, the perceived instigator of the war. Germany was to disarm, make substantial territorial concessions, and pay reparations to the tune of billions of dollars. Many saw this as a recipe for future discord. The war's end also brought about significant geopolitical changes. Empires crumbled, and new nations were born. The Russian, German, Austro-Hungarian and Ottoman empires collapsed, making way for new states and shifting power dynamics on the global stage. The map of Europe was redrawn, and the seeds of nationalism were sown in many parts of the world, but the war's impact extended beyond political boundaries. It reached deep into the fabric of society, changing the way people lived, thought, and perceived the world. Technological advancements, such as the advent of tanks, airplanes, and chemical weapons, forever changed the nature of warfare. The war also marked a shift in social norms. Women, who had taken on roles traditionally held by men during the war, began to demand more rights and opportunities, leading to a wave of feminist movements around the world. The war also left a profound psychological impact on those who lived through it. The sheer scale of death and destruction led to a sense of disillusionment and loss. The once romantic notion of war was replaced with the harsh reality of its brutality and senselessness. The First World War forever changed the course of human history, leaving a legacy that we still grapple with today. It was a stark reminder of the destructive potential of human conflict and the urgent need for peace and understanding among nations.